Hey everyone, this is Adam and today I'm going to be showing you how to automatically test your HTML emails across different email clients using the Emailify plugin and the Litmus platform. So to get started, all we need to do is go to your Figma file and click on the little resources icon at the top here. And if you click on that and search for Emailify, so that's E-M-A-I-L-I-F-Y, and under the plugins tab, just click on the Emailify result and you can run the plugin by either clicking this run button here or I'd recommend clicking on this little more options icon here and clicking save, and that's gonna save it to your plugins list for easy access later. So I've already got ahead and done that. So I'm gonna to go to my canvas, just right click anywhere and go down to plugins. Then I'm gonna go down to save plugins and click on the emailify item. And that's just gonna run the plugin that we saved a second ago. So if you're new to this plugin, uh, the way that it works is it basically helps you to design HTML emails directly in Figma, which you can then export out to production ready HTML automatically. So that's what we're gonna be focusing on today. I'm gonna to assume that you've already got your email designed uh, using the plugin and customizing it in Figma. If you are new to the plugin, you might wanna check out a couple of other tutorials first. Uh, but for today, I'm just gonna be assuming that you've already got your email set up the way that you want. So for example, you might have some more content. So I just throw this little image block in there. And now we can basically export this to HTML to test in Litmus. So I'm just gonna click on the export HTML button up in the plugin. And then I'm just going to make sure that upload hosted image URLs is enabled. And that's just going to automatically upload the images for me. And then I'm just going to click on export to HTML. And that's going to automatically generate the HTML from our design and export it into an HTML email that we're going to be able to test. So I'm just going to click on download your zip file. Then I'm going to click on save to save that to my desktop. And if I open up that zip file, you can see here that I've got my HTML email in this folder here. So what I basically want to do is take that HTML and I'm going to be pasting that into the Litmus platform. So litmus.com is a platform that allows you to automatically test your HTML emails across different email clients and see how they render in different clients like Outlook and Gmail and other mobile devices and things like that. So all I need to do is basically go to my folder, take my HTML file and get the HTML out of there. So I'm going to just open up my code editor and I'm just going to drag and drop that HTML file in there. And I'm just going to select all and copy that to my clipboard. And then in Litmus, I'm just going to click on this create new button. So I'm going to click create new. I'm just going to call this uh, test email from Figma. Then I'm going to select this test option over here. And then going to click on the bring in your email button. So I'm going to click bring in your email. And there's a couple of ways that you can bring in the email. As I mentioned, we're going to be doing it by pasting in the HTML. But the other way you can do it if you're sending this test from an email service provider is they give you an email address that you can send an email to uh, with your HTML email in it. And this will automatically get captured here. But for today, we're just going to do it a simpler way and click on this more ways to create an email button. So at the very bottom, just click on that. And that will allow you to paste in your HTML. So I'm just going to paste in my HTML to the code block here. So I'm just going to paste that. And you can see all of our code that we just copied is now in here. And then you can also just put in a subject line. So we're just going to call this one test and click on done. And after you click done, it's basically going to upload the HTML email that we just exported from Figma into Litmus as a brand new test. And it's going to go to this previews and QA tab. And this is going to allow you to view the HTML email in a bunch of different email clients. And you'll be able to test the HTML uh, to see what it looks like when it renders across all these different clients. So you can see here, it's slowly loading in all the previews. These are real previews of the emails rendering in real email clients. So it gives you a accurate view of what this is actually gonna look like on certain applications that you might not have on your computer. So you can see here, we've got things like Outlook 2016 on Mac. We've got Outlook 2016 on Windows. Uh, we've got Office 365. We've got dark mode, uh, Outlook dark mode. And then we've also got mobile clients as well. So we've got uh, Outlook on iOS, we've got the iOS mail apps, and then also some web-based apps as well. So you can see here, we've got Gmail, Yahoo Mail, Office 365. And if we click on any of these previews, we can get a larger version of that screenshot. And again, these are being rendered in the real email clients. So these aren't emulated. These are actually uh, tests that Litmus does behind the scenes to a real uh, machine or a real computer using uh, some of these apps or web platforms. And it basically just gives you a really accurate way of seeing how the email is gonna look in all of these platforms. Uh, so it does sometimes take a little while to load up because uh, it is uh, quite intensive, I think, to run all these tests. But if we open up one of these tests uh, and load up the full version, we should be able to see what they look like. 
So in this case, we're just looking at a full uh, screenshot of Outlook 2016 on Mac OS. So we can scroll down here. We can see the whole email, uh, everything that we designed in Figma over here has now been uh, rendered and we can see that it looks the same as it did in Figma in Mac OS on Outlook 2016, which is really good. And then if we go back, uh, we might want to open up uh, that same email on Outlook 2016 for Windows. So we can do that. If you just click on the result, it's going to load up the screenshot uh, again. And so we can see in this case, we're looking at the full screenshot of Outlook 2016 on Windows 10. And you'll notice it still looks really good, but there's obviously a few small differences. Uh, for example, Outlook doesn't support border radius. So you can see that the border radius on the button, which was working on the Mac Outlook version, uh, isn't going to be rendered on the Outlook version for Windows. So that's just one thing to keep in mind. And of course, there'll be a few other minor things that Outlook doesn't support. Obviously, Outlook is notoriously uh, bad for emails uh, in general, but this is at least going to give you a bit of an idea uh, of what it's going to look like and you can make any enhancements or changes based on that. So again, we can see uh, Office 365 in Chrome. So if we scroll down on this screenshot, we can see that Office 365 is rendering it a bit better. So we've got our border radius included this time, uh, I guess, because this is a browser based uh, application rather than the older sort of desktop application from 2016. Uh, so it's going to support a few more of those more modern things. Uh, but yeah, this is basically what you want to be doing. You just want to go through these uh, and check out what's looking good, what's not looking good. Uh, by default, all of the components that are designed uh, from Emailify, so all of these components here that are available uh, have been tested in Outlook and the other email clients in Litmus already. So those should all be looking really good anyway, um, but it's always worth testing it in Litmus or a platform like Litmus anyway, just to be 100% sure of what it's going to look like when it does get delivered. So I'd always recommend running through that uh, as well. And you can also change the email clients that you use. So if you wanted to choose different email clients, you can select different specific versions of Outlook. Uh, you can break this down into other categories and select very specific versions of these different clients uh, as well. And then you just select those and click run previews again, and that will automatically rerun the HTML previews for those clients that you've selected. So um, yeah, that's basically it. I'll leave it there for today. I just wanted to show you a really quick tutorial of how to get your HTML from Figma uh, into Litmus to test your HTML emails on a bunch of different email clients uh, automatically in a way that's gonna be very accurate to see how they're gonna render. So um, yeah, thank you as always for watching and we'll be back with more Figma tutorials like this one very soon.